It's election day as of streaming, and we have Joe Biden and Trump who could potentially be the future president. I voted, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that I voted Biden, but I voted Biden, and I think that it'll be, it'll be pretty big depending on who wins, if Biden or Trump wins. Now, I'm gonna say that I don't really like either candidate. I don't think Biden is an ideal candidate for me. I mean, for me, I'm a, I'm a Bernie Sanders person. I, I do be liking my socialism, my, my democratic socialism, all that stuff. I think that that's pretty cool, pretty based. And Joe Biden is not that. He is a fracking supporter, kind of cringe, but you know, he, um, he said, uh, where, where is, where's the tweet? Where's the tweet? We gotta find, the, he said gay people good. <laughs> he said gay people good. And uh, that's pretty cool. Even if it's just virtue signaling, he, he did he did say it. And I just wanted to look at like the two candidates Twitter. You know, we got Trump talking about stuff. That's what we're doing. Now when I said it, it sounded very easy. You got, you got Trump talking, more Trump talking, lots of Trump talking, strength. Optimism, determination hope, jobs okay we got an ad another ad the amish are not playing around today i think the amish are kind of dumb but they you know you you guys do your culture it's just like a lot of rallies the news a bus more rallies, we go to Biden. You know, it's like people talking, voting, an advertisement, Biden talking, Biden hanging out, Biden just there, he's just, he's just there. You know, we, we got, we got policy stuff. We got gay stuff. We got Biden chilling. We got... I don't know. There, there's just... There's a little bit of a contrast, I think, between their Twitters. We have this image. This glorious image. Hey, sorry to interrupt you, but you got to see that dumb tweet from Trump Jr. That one with the globe in the red and blue. Maybe later. Yeah, both options are garbage, but you would rather have someone punch you or stab you. Both are bad options, but one is definitely better than the other. Lol, it was funny. Say peep, are you a sock dem or a democratic socialist? That's a good question. I like anarcho-communism, but I don't think that that is possible within my lifetime. Yes, rat dropped. Rat dropped. This this glorious image of Biden exists. This, this motivated me to vote for him. But... Anyways, back to getting, uh, real. I think anarcho-communism is pretty good for, you know, endgame sort of goals, but as of right now, I think being a sock dem, that's the most attainable thing that we could get right now within our government, just, like, social democracy, all that good stuff. I don't know, I align a lot with Bernie, and I would probably be a little bit possibly more to the left of him, if that helps at all. I, I might talk about that more later. I'm planning on making a big video about like political positions. And if you don't know much about different sorts of ideologies, like, you know, utilitarianism, socialism, all, all you know, communism, all, all the good stuff, fascism. If you don't know about a lot of that stuff, there's a channel I recommend called um, Vicky1999. She does great videos about different ideologies and schools of thought and, you know, they're historical. They're pretty cool. The Trump Jr. tweet. I have to look it up. I have to look up the Trump Jr. tweet. You guys are talking about it. We are going to... I'm fine with capitalism. Just give everyone equal rights in healthcare. I mean, true, but I think capitalism has a lot of problems. If you take a sociology class, I'm not assuming you didn't, but if you if you take a sociology class, you kind of come to the conclusion that capitalism is kind of cringe, especially uh, chapter 14 in my textbook. I don't know, I'll link it 
It's in media. Am I like dumb? I'm probably really dumb. Oh, this thing. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cringe. Wow. Yes, that is true. Every form of government has its own problems. There is no such thing as a perfect governmental system, but we can have preferences and it's okay to have different preferences. Absolutely okay. I don't know. We got stuff. We got stuff. Anyways, I think that Biden is a lot better. Biden is kind of like the status quo. Capitalism be cringe. That is what I agree with. That is my position. My favorite conservative country, Antarctica. Love that. Biden had that whole meme with the, the fly. That was so funny. Can I look it up? This, this is so good. What else does Biden have? Biden had the, um, what else did Biden have that I really liked? The Animal Crossing, the Animal Crossing Island. I know this isn't policy, <laughs> but Trump doesn't got this. Biden really got that Zoomer appeal, and I, I, I am here for it. Even if it doesn't actually really mean anything, I am here for this. I just, I just think that Biden is just, he's just a, an objectively better dude. We have the choice between pretty much fascism, a president who's saying that he wants another term, like, he made a tweet where it was like, the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term, and it just like kept going. Does Trump have his own Animal Crossing Island? Exactly, checkmate. Yeah, got him, got him. Like, Trump doesn't have an Animal Crossing Island. They have the official Animal Crossing Island, and it is, it is dope. The campaign is just cool. There's this image. There's this, in Trump, Trump doesn't have an image like this. We got this. This is so good. Biden is also the malarkey squasher, the anti-malarkey man. It's just, he's got, he's just got more good qualities to him. In my opinion, I, I just think that he is that much better. And I really do hope that he wins. If Biden wins, he'll be like, you know, a status quo Democrat. He probably won't really get much done, but he won't be actively destroying the country, kind of like how Trump has been. I mean, he really has not handled COVID well. We don't know, you know, there is no metric for success, as Vosh said, for how you can handle COVID. There's no metric for success, but we do know that he could have done so much more. It's very evident that he could have done so much more to make it a lot better. I know that Biden will actually do this, do stuff. Trump is just, every day he's got to do scandal. It's just scandal after scandal. He can't get anything done. He's always on the news. He's always calling the news fake. He's... He's just all over the place. He's not he's not organized. He he does not have leaderly qualities. He's you know, he just kind of says stuff. He's he's all over the place. Whereas Biden and Kamala, you know, they may be normies, they may be, you know, just status quo Democrats, not really all that progressive. They have made concessions with like Bernie and other people and I think that you know, there are some policies you genuinely could be excited for. You know, let's look at the website. Joe's vision. I don't know. We got a lot of stuff here. Let's click on the Trump website. Can can you, this get off my screen, please? Okay. Win four more years today. Secure your vote. Merch. Get involved about about I'm getting about it's just kind of like that's it that's it that's all we got in the about and then there's just a Spanish <laughs> there's a whole one for just Spanish there's so much more to this there's so much more to this Notes from Joe. All these things have things. Wow. Trump also got a bunch of his own supporters to yeet out when he stopped being nice to the LGBT. Yeah, uh, that, that sounds about right. I mean, his trans military ban is really cringe. I had a friend. I had a friend. I mean, I still, I still talk to this person. They're still my friend. And I love this person. Anyways, she had a bad take where she said, I agree with the Trump military ban because trans people are more likely to have mental problems, which make them unfit 
for the military. And while that may be true, trans people do typically have more mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, stuff like that. Not all of them do. The key word in that statement is often. They often have these uh, problems. Not all of them do. And so making a blanket ban to where all of them are excluded, that takes away from the trans people who are perfectly able and willing and dedicated to serving in the military. It just takes away from all of them. So that's really cringe. I did not want to vote Bolsonaro at the time, but I didn't know he was super LGBT phobic and didn't know myself at the time. I am not sure who that candidate is. You can you can come back from the military with just as many mental health issues surprise more. Very true. Who is Bolsonaro? I will look that up. Brazil. You're from Brazil. Whoa. Okay, so it's a it's a Brazil. I don't know Bolso. I'm sorry. I'm not familiar with Brazil and Brazilian politics. World policy, foreign policy in general. I'm really not that knowledgeable about. So I don't know, chat can teach me. I think the segment's done. I think I'm done with the segment. <laughs>